Hi students, welcome to the very session. I am Priksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy, and I give you all a very warm welcome to this session. So, guys, today in this very particular session, we are going to deal with another important topic, and that is modals. You know very well that modals they are very important from your grammar point of view. So, I am sure that everybody is now ready for this session. Guys, stay tuned for the entire session. Do not miss out anything because, as I always say, that modals is one of the topics wherein there is a thin line difference between every other model. Okay, so you need to listen to the very rules and the uses of all these models to understand it perfectly. As where and when you have to use which model. All right, people. So now let's get started, guys. I'm sure that you all have shared the link of this session with all your friends. If you haven't done it yet, then I literally request you all to kindly do that. Okay, kindly share the link of this session with all your friends because everybody really needs to listen to me today. Okay, guys. So now I am welcoming you all again. My name is Preksha Sharma, guys. I have done MA in English from Delhi University. For the past few years, I have been guiding a lot of students to be completely amazing and fluent in their communication skills and also to score good marks in their academics. And I am sure that I am going to help each one of you as well. All right, people. Now let's get started. You know that we have got an Academy Plus platform. This is one of the platforms wherein we are providing you all flat ten percent discount. Okay, so this is literally amazing, guys. All right, like the discounts, they are always amazing. You have to use the code PSH10 because this code will give you a guarantee that Priksha Ma'am is going to be there to solve any of your doubts. We are providing you all ten percent off. Okay, guys. So make sure that you guys are definitely going in for it. Like on the very plus platform, you guys can ask us any number of doubts in that to any time without any problem. Okay. Now moving ahead, guys. Bugs bounty. Okay. This is literally one of the unique things that I'm going to mention right now for everybody. It's an opportunity for all the learners to report any inappropriate content given in the video. So while the educator is teaching you, and if you find that something is inappropriate, then you guys can report that. Okay. So be the first one to report a particular issue to claim your prize. Report any inappropriate content using the form which is given in the description below. All right, people. So kindly go ahead with this because this is literally going to be a different thing. All right, and you guys can have the prizes as well. Okay, people. So now we are moving ahead with a topic, which is what, which is modals. Okay. Now, guys, you see that there are certain things that are written right in front of you. For example, you can say I can, and it says I may, and it says I will. So, what are these words? What is will? What is can? Okay, and what is may? What are these things, guys? These are the modal verbs. So, what is your understanding of the modal verb? I'm sure that you guys know it, and this is not really something that you guys are not aware of, okay? Because this is like we keep on using it. At times you might say that I will not eat this, or I will eat pizza, I will eat burger, okay? Or I will have a cup of coffee, I will um I will have uh one cup of tea, okay? Or I should now go and study, all right? I dare not touch this. So you use that, okay? Modals they are something that are used in your daily life, and it's very important from the communication point of view. All right, people. You have to just understand this so well that when it comes to your communication, you have to use it on a daily basis, and that is the best way to actually understand the thin line difference that I talked about in the beginning of the session. Okay, so now let's get started, everybody. All right, stay tuned for the entire session. Do not miss out even one single thing. Okay, that means that you are missing out a lot today. Okay, people. Moving ahead, everybody. Okay, let's see. What are modals? Okay, you should know the meaning correctly. You should know that what is the purpose of modals. Okay, now modals they give additional information about the main verb. For example, if I am saying I can write a poetry. Okay, so here in can is giving one additional information. Okay, about the main verb. If I am saying I write a poetry, that is okay. But if I am saying I can write a poetry, here in it is talking about what? Here in it is talking about my ability. Here in it is talking about my capability. Do you all get that? 
do you all understand that well so what exactly a modal verb is it is actually acting as a helping verb in a very journal word if i'm going to explain it to all of you this is just a helping verb so it gives you all additional information about the main verb okay now like modals they are a type of auxiliary verbs that means like the type of helping verbs only and they are always used with the main verb they never stand alone this is one of the very important points okay guys your modal verb it never stands alone that means that it is not independent okay it will definitely come along with other verb for sure okay for example we will okay we will meet on Sunday. Here in what do you see? Here in I am saying that will is coming and then meet is coming. Meet is my actual verb here and along with that will is also coming. Okay, so I cannot say we will on Sunday. It's not making any sense. If I am just going to use my modal verb independently, that means that it is completely useless. It is not going to make any sense. Do you get that? So you can never use a modal verb alone. All right. Now, what are they used for? They indicate possibility. Okay, like there are chances. For example, if I am saying that I may come tomorrow, so may here is talking about the possibility. I may or I may not. All right, there is like fifty-fifty chance. It talks about certainty. What does that mean? That this is sure. For example, if I am saying I will come tomorrow, I am very certain. I am so sure. Okay, this is definite. Certainty means when you are hundred percent sure. Okay, then I am permit like we. Uh, I mean, then we use it in the context of permission. For example, if I am saying, "Can I go outside?" Okay, here in you have used can just for seeking the permission. All right. Then in case of your ability, like for example, again, if I am saying that I can do this task. So here in what am I saying? I am saying that I am capable. I am able of performing this task. I I can drive a car. That means I have the ability. I have the capability of driving a car. And probability. Probability means that there are just the chances. Okay. Like it's probable. That means it is not sure, but there are the chances. For example, if I am telling you, it might rain today. So here in I have used the modal verb uh, mind. That means there is very less possibility. Okay, there is very less probability, but still there is a probability. Okay, so that is how you use the modal verbs in your day to day life, in your communication, when you want to talk about certain things such as like possibility, certainty, permission, or ability or probability. Okay. Now it also highlights the mood or attitude of the speaker. For example, if I am saying I may come tomorrow. Okay, so it is highlighting what it is talking about my mood. If if it depends upon my mood or on my situations, like I may come, I may not come. Okay, do you all get that? And it doesn't have the ing form at all. Okay, please keep this in your mind. This is very important. Okay, like I I I had seen a long like long back when some students they were adding ing to must. Okay, like musting. That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay, it, it, like your models they do not have any ing form, and you have to remember that. Okay, that's really important. Okay, now we are uh, going to see that what's an auxiliary verb. Okay, an auxiliary verb is a helping verb which is used with a main verb to help express the main verb's tense, mood, or voice. For example, to be, to have, and to do. That is the concept of an auxiliary verb. This is always used with your main verb in order to talk about the mood, the voice, and the tense as well. Okay, so keep this in your mind. For example, if I am saying that we can have lunch okay together so here in all like if i am saying like instead of like no nah, like in order not to confuse you all okay so i can say that we can meet all right let me alter the entire sentence guys okay let me write all together another sentence so that you guys are not confused here afterwards i'm going to give you all a complicated kind of an example okay for example if i am saying that we can eat lunch together today okay or i can even say tomorrow 
all right you all understanding so what is it talking about it's talking about the very tense as well okay it's talking about something that is going to come tomorrow but here in you have to just keep one thing in your mind that with your modal verb you are using what you are using the first form of the verb that is what you all will have to keep in your mind all right people now let's move ahead guys where do you use models okay there are so many conditions in which you all can use models now guys see these are basically the journal categories first is request for example if i'm telling you can i go outside can i meet my friend can i call you at eight o'clock can i wear this dress okay or can we go for a trip can we go for trekking that's a request okay or if i'm asking you like way more politely could you please get me a glass of water so i am being very polite here but again that's a request and if i'm using the another model i'll be saying would you please pass me that glass of water again it's a request okay why because i can see the word please here that's really a request right so what did you see here i've used three different models i use can i use what uh like more uh, good i used would so you know like you can use these modal verbs in different contexts but you have to just decode the meaning correctly okay you should know like if you want to be more polite or how you should be saying your sentence okay now in case of your necessity for example if i'm saying you must visit the doctor okay so now that means here and i'm talking about something that's really needed or if i'm saying that you should see a doctor again i have used something for necessity so you see that you can use different models in different contexts but you should be able to use it correctly okay now certainty that means that you're 100 percent sure okay now for example if i am telling you what if i am telling you this that he will be on his way so will here is giving me 100 percent surety okay that means that yes uh, like person whosoever is coming is definitely going to come right now okay then obligation in case of your duty as well you talk about this okay this is again one of the important things that you should keep in your mind obligation is your duty all right for example you should obey your parents you should respect your elders you should not speak rudely with your teacher okay you should not speak rudely with your siblings that's your duty you shouldn't be doing that okay or you should visit your grandparents once a month all right so that's the duty that we are talking about then again capability therein comes your word camp wherein you are saying that i cannot do this i cannot make the assignment i cannot prepare lunch i cannot prepare dinner okay and you can also see if you're talking in the context of past what would you say that i couldn't perform the task i couldn't dance on the floor okay good here again is the past tense of can and again talking about your capability now advice or suggestion again can a hair can be your should for example if i'm saying that you should not eat junk food you should not eat or oh, sorry you should not consume coffee this much okay so what am i doing exactly here i am making an advice i'm making a suggestion here. all right then possibility again if i'm talking about the possibility then i would say that he must be on his way okay so here i have used must what does that mean that here i'm talking about the strong possibility since i know we are supposed to attend a meeting okay and i i like for example if i'm saying that your exams are approaching and or or like uh, to be very specific if i'm telling you that it's your exam tomorrow so what would you say that i must study now so that means that here you are talking about what you're talking about the possibility of studying now or like to make the sentence in a different manner you can say like this that uh, for example i know that it's your exam tomorrow i can say that he must be studying now there is like a strong possibility that you must be studying why because there is an exam tomorrow okay and then permission again when you want to seek a permission can i go outside you can do that all right so guys what did you see here that we have got different models we have got different uses but they can be used in like multiple contexts but it has to be very correct okay your understanding should be very clear why are you using which model at which place okay let's have a look in brief now i mean sorry in a detailed manner okay so how do you use models this is what you all will have to keep in your mind first comes your subject always for example rohan okay then will come your model what is it the should okay and then comes your verb okay meet 
So here in Rohan should meet his parents this time. Okay, so what did you see that what is the place of your modal verb? The place of your modal verb is the second place in a normal sentence. Kindly keep that in your mind. It's really important for a good understanding of any given sentence. Do you all get that? Yes, guys, do you all get that? Are you all understanding this everybody? So this is what like this is your second place and here in we are talking about the fact that you should know that your very verb modal verb is going to be at the second place and your main verb will be at the third place. Clear? All right people. Now let's move ahead. Now we are starting with the respective models. Please pay proper attention because every model is important. Now I am starting with may. All right. What is the use of may? See, may has got different uses. Guys, one modal verb can have multiple uses. You have to really learn it, okay? And that can be done only by practicing a lot. If you are sitting right now and you wish to cram all the purple, I mean all the uses, you may not remember it for a longer run, okay? And that's of no use. Because grammar is something that will continue with you for your entire life. It will actually stick with you. Okay, if you really want to be fluent, if you really want to be flawless in your language, what do you need? You need to have that command over the language. And for that, you should have command over grammar. Okay, so the first one is we talk about the possibility. All right, then we talk about wish as well. I'm going to come up with the examples in the next slide wherein you guys will understand how we are using what. Okay, then it talks about your purpose also. It talks about hope also. So hope and wish is somehow same. It talks about your permission as well as it talks about your faith as well. So wish, hope and faith, they are somehow linked with each other. Now let's have a look at the examples, everybody. Here in it says, like it may, uh, like yeah. here, here it says, it may snow today. All right. So here in I'm talking about the possibility. But guys, make sure that you understand that may deals with your 50-50% chances. Okay. That means the possibility is somehow 50-50. Okay, so if it is saying it may snow today, so here in we know that the possibility is like 50-50. It may know or it may not or it may. Okay, so that's the possibility. Now, if you're seeking permission, may I go to attend the party? So that's like you are asking for a permission. Okay, and may you get all the happiness in the world. So how are you saying that? Because you have got faith, right? And then you have the wish. That's your wish. Okay, you're hoping something good for someone. And then hope as well. All right. And now she is practicing hard so that she may win the first prize. So what's the purpose here? What is the purpose, everybody? Here in the purpose is to uh, like uh, win the first prize. That is why somebody is working hard. So now here she may win the first prize. You guys must not decode the sentence. What I mean is do not try to understand the meaning in this way that she may or may not win the prize. Okay. As in the chances are 50-50. No. Here in the first line the very base of the sentence has been made. And what does that say? She is practicing hard. So what is the reason of practicing hard? So that she may win the first prize. So here in we have used may not as a possibility but as a purpose. Okay, you guys would come to know that once you all will start using models in your practical and day to day life. Okay, let's move ahead now. Alrighty. Now we are going to talk about can. Alright, this is again one of the important modal verbs and you guys use this a lot many times. Okay, for example, if I ask you, can you solve this question? You're like, yes, I can solve this question. So what is it talking about? It's talking about your ability and your capacity, your capability, right? I'm sure that you guys agree with me. For example, if I'm asking you, can uh, can you uh, drive the car? And so you're like, yes, I can drive the car. That's talking about your ability. That's talking about your capability. That's talking about your capacity. Okay, and then possibility as well. So now you see it. The possibility was there in May as well. And now here in can as well. You guys would have to make the difference like whether you should go with may or can. How would that be made? When you look at a sentence, 
when a sentence is given to you with a blank, you will have to decode its meaning. Okay, you will have to just check like what is the meaning of this sentence. Once you do that, use your language hack, guys. Okay, that is needed. You need to use your language hack. Just try to translate that sentence in your own language, whatever it is. If you think it makes some sense to you, go ahead with the right modal verb. I'm sure this will help because this is the best trick I can tell you right now. And then permission, of course. But you know what? Can is broadly used just for showing the ability or your capability okay like possibility and permission is also right but in the broader category i will say that this is used for your ability and your capability okay now look at the example everybody everyone can finish this task okay so there is this possibility okay guys see uh, what did i tell you like may is about 50 50 chances okay but like there in that means i'm here they are talking about the probability all right i am there talking about the possibility okay but the possibility is something that's reflected in the uh, in uh, in the form of like 50 50 percent chances but here and when i'm saying that everybody can finish this task so i'm talking about the possibility where and i'm a little more sure okay so like when there is a choice between may and can and when it, it is about the possibility you have to just decode the sentence the sentence would tell you if you should go with may or can okay because the sentence for example in this sentence if can is not given here okay like for example can is not given everyone dash finish this task okay so everyone may finish this task that's not making any sense okay like herein if the sentence is talking about everyone so somewhere there is more surety okay you have to use your cognitive skills you have to apply your mind you have to apply your thinking skills herein okay models where there whenever models are given to you a blank would be given to you definitely you all will have to apply your mind okay to come to the right answers because you will be literally confused because the options they appear to be very close okay and for that you guys have to have a good understanding all right so kindly listen to me very carefully and i hope that everybody is really getting what i'm trying to say here okay so everyone can finish this task this is a possibility now can i go to meet sort of it's a permission you're seeking for permission here all right and then i cannot finish reading in 15 minutes this is capability for example if i'm saying i cannot prepare the lunch in one hour so i'm not able enough i'm not capable enough like looking at every other scenario around me i can say that i cannot prepare lunch in like one hour that's really not possible so you know where to use what i hope you are understanding like how do you come to the right option okay now let's move ahead to will everybody now will is another modal verb which is again important this is used to express your future okay this is so easy for example i will watch movie tomorrow i will eat pizza i will prepare lunch tonight they will come to my home on sunday all right my friends will meet me on sunday so you know this so well like will is something that you use exactly for future right also to show willingness that you desire to do something all right i'll explain this to all of you with the help of an example also to show habit as well now guys look at the examples the president will deliver her speech tomorrow okay that is so easy so straightforward where and what are we doing we are exactly talking about the upcoming day okay we are talking about the upcoming event i am talking about the president who is going to deliver a speech tomorrow okay so i am here expressing my future that's so clear and so straightforward right now next thing if i am saying akshara will need your help in completing her daily chores so now this is the willingness this is the willingness of akshara okay akshara the basically wants somebody to help her so it's a willingness okay it's her desire to show willingness basically means that you're showing your desire do you all get that right for example if i'm saying that um, i will need your help uh, to select the right dress for me for the party tonight all right so that means that i am willing it's my desire that you should be here and you should be helping me so that means i am expressing my willingness my desire my wish to you okay and to show a habit okay for example ritu will not listen to her parents 
this is habit okay though this is a bad habit you should always listen to your parents so I, just because i know you for example i know that my brother will not help me with this assignment so now if my dad is saying that why don't you take the help of your brother but i'll be like that he is not he will not help me with this so how do i know because i know his habit okay so this is literally a bit more contextual do you understand since you know the person since you know the scenario all right for example you know that this pandemic thing was going on in 2020 was really a havoc on everybody so in that period if somebody would have said that would we get the grocery at the grocery store so you know that the shop will not be open all right or they will not be coming to meet us why because now everybody is getting habitual of maintaining a social distance right do you all understand this so now if i'm telling you that she will not come to meet me at my home what is the reason the reason is this covid coronavirus okay so you have to be contextual and you have to understand the context because you have to get more practical about it guys all right students like this is important for all of you if you are getting practical about your language english it becomes so difficult to i sorry it becomes so easy to use all right not difficult at all okay people now we are moving ahead to shall okay please understand this carefully all right this is used for expressing command okay when you are commanding somebody when you are ordering somebody in that context we are going to use a uh, shall then in case of thread also you use this like when there is any thread assurance as well like that means when you want to assure somebody okay like yes he shall be there for example your mom is not believing that whether the uh, domestic help would be coming tomorrow or not but you you are saying that uh, he shall be coming tomorrow okay so now you give an assurance to your mother because you know that he shall be coming tomorrow maybe the domestic help has informed me okay all right domestic help means the person who works in your home and helps with all the household chores that means the household work like the cleaning and everything okay cleaning and mopping and grooming and everything so now in case of request as will you use it in case of determination i mean when your determination is strong in case of your advice suggestion and request so you guys saw that advice and suggestion okay it was in the context of the earlier model also that we did so you have to just understand the context guys okay as i said translate the sentence in your mind once you'll get that you'll understand that what exactly is being needed and demanded here okay and also to express the future for sure will is also talking about future shall is also talking about future okay so what is the difference i'll tell you the difference with the help of the example and in case of warning as well we use shall let's have a look at the examples now see we shall go to visit the future uh, sorry uh, we shall go to visit the zoo tomorrow here in we are talking about future shall i bring a glass of lemonade for you it's a polite request that we are dealing here with okay shall i shut the door it's an advice now you guys would ask me how is that advice now let me tell you a situation for example if you see and that the cold wind is coming in your room and you guys are sitting it's already the month of january all right so there in uh maybe the another person all right is actually not feeling that uh, like cold so now if you have to just seek an advice from that person okay before closing the door because that is what an etiquette is so you will be like shall i shut the door so that works more as an advice because it's really cold that is not a question there okay like a lot of you would consider that's a question no you are seeking an advice here what do you think shall i shut the door or shall i be doing or shutting the windows or shall i just draw the curtain okay so that is more like an advice okay like what should be the answer okay so therein you can use shall and they shall win the marathon so here in we are talking about the determination that you have the determination that you will win the um, uh, marathon okay so guys for example if i am saying that you will win the marathon that is more of a certain thing that is more of a sure thing okay but if i am saying they shall win the marathon i may be i may have looked at their determination okay i may have looked that she really worked hard to achieve that position so on the basis of her determination that i saw i am saying that they shall win the marathon all right is that clear everybody i hope that's making sense to everyone now we are moving ahead with might guys all right now might talks about less possibility like it is less than 
all right that means in a way you can say very less okay this is also used for permission okay but the chances of like getting any answer for this seems to be very less and then when you are guessing something okay now example her wallet might be in the bedroom there is very less possibility for example if your parent ask you have you seen my phone so what would you see that it's uh, it might be on the dining table okay but you are not sure when you are not really sure there is very less possibility of anything that can happen therein you can go ahead with might okay that to uh, like that way might would work so well okay now my day switch of the light again it's a permission guys it's a permission might i switch on the light when the uh, when the possibility of getting an answer here is very less i mean um the possibility of getting an yeah sorry a yes here is very less for example you know like at times your parents or your grandparents they are sleeping in a room you are entering in the room with your sister or with your brother or with your friend and then you are asking your friend or your brother might i switch on the light because now the thing that here in actually switching on the light would not result in the right thing because maybe the person who is sleeping and having rest might get up okay might wake up right and you do not really want to disturb the sleep of the person so there in that situation you're like no no it's okay let's go inside that way only we can use the torch or we can use the torch light of our phone okay so my day switch on the light is a permission wherein the possibility of getting an uh, sorry a possibility of getting a yes is very less okay do you all understand that now that might be a new student in the school so here in we have used my just to guess okay for example if i'm saying that that might be the new girl that you were talking about okay or that might be that uh, that might be the new building that was being constructed by that person okay or by that group all right so now wherever you are guessing things you can go ahead with might for sure is that making sense to everybody is this making sense to everybody right there yes guys right okay now we are moving ahead with must again this is really one of the very important kind of models that you should keep in your mind because see as the word must i mean i'm sure that you guys are aware of it like you must be aware of it this is sure like this is what i should say necessity okay whenever you want to talk about the necessity like it is necessary then you use must when you have to talk about the compulsion that something is compulsory you talk about must i mean and determination again you know might was talking about the determination all right i mean we might was talking about the determination in the context of the possibility the chances and now must here is also talking about the determination so now how would you understand that whether you should go for must or you should go for the previous model all right that is mine in any given sentence you would get that once you will decode the meaning of the sentence that you are dealing with all right now here are strong probability strong chances as i said for example i am saying that you must be studying why because it's your exam tomorrow so there is a strong probability there is a strong chance of something whenever there is a strong chance of anything you go ahead with must now obligation or duty whenever it's your duty okay you must contact the principal okay or like for example if i'm saying that you must uh, speak um, to your parents or you must visit the doctor all right sorry you must take your parents to the doctor that's your duty you are obliged to do that okay and assumption whenever you have to make an assumption all right when you are assuming things for example again if i'm telling you that he must be very sad all right so i know that something happened in the school today or something happened in the college today or something happened in the office today uh, on the basis of that i am assuming this that he must be sad all right so because of something that happened out of that i am grabbing i mean out of that situation i am extracting this fact that the person must be sad or for example anybody is going to get married so maybe the person is very happy so i'll be like he must be happy okay or he must be really happy to visit outside india or outside anywhere okay and emphatic advice guys what does this mean for example like you had a bad tooth ache okay or bad back ache or anything in your body alright and you suffered a lot because of it now you understand the situation now you know whenever it's tooth ache you really suffer bad so now for example like uh, like since empathy is like when you have yourself put in the shoes of that situation in the shoes of another person 
so that means that since i experienced that bad tooth ache now on the basis of that i'm telling you what i'm telling you to go and visit a doctor so i'm saying that you must visit a doctor to uh, get the proper checkup okay now let's have a look at the examples must we always respect our elders it's a duty and obligation right so that's the right answer okay so that's the right answer that must we always respect our elders that's the duty okay now the another thing that is being mentioned here is what does it says like it says like it is saying milan must reach office on time today so this is necessity maybe there is an important meeting for example if i'm telling you you must leave uh, from your home right at seven o'clock in the morning if it's your board paper all right since it's your board paper you must leave right at seven o'clock from the morning because you have to reach to your center okay so you know what is the necessary situation on the basis of that you would give the advice to the person now you must complete your chores by tomorrow that means it's your duty all right that whatever household chores you have got whatever household work chores refer to your household task your household work so you must be able to complete that by tomorrow okay now you must not always do as she says so this is compulsion that you're not um, bound to do uh, like you're not bound to do whatever she is asking you to do okay now ruhi must be at the gym so this is certainty okay this is for sure all right here in we are sure that ruhi must be at the gym because you know this is a daily routine at 10 o'clock she would definitely be in the gym okay Akshit must be 25 years old. Now you are assuming it. Like you remember this that he was born in the year 1995 or 1996. So now he must be 25 years old. That is what you assumed. So when you are assuming on the basis of that, you can go ahead with must. Now you must see a dentist for your tooth ache. So what is that? That's an empathic advice because I have been through this tooth ache. That is why I'm asking you as well. Okay. now the next one is riya must not be attending her class right now since you know that uh, like she must be busy or there is something that happened at her home or there is some another reason so you know this so well that must not be attending her class right now what does that mean that the person must not be doing what he or she must have been uh, like must have done all right for example if i am saying that my sister must not be preparing dinner tonight why because she got bored of cooking right do you all understand this okay so now we are moving ahead to the next kind of models for everybody that is use of have to has to and had to all right these are all the auxiliary verbs that are really important to understand okay you should know like where exactly and how exactly you all are using it okay so let's move ahead when we are talking about advice guys okay we use this when we are talking about compulsion we use this and when we want to recommend something we use this okay but you use this on the basis of what like you whether you have got the singular subject or whether you have got the plural subject and if you are talking in the context of past then definitely you go ahead with had to okay so have to and has to are used in the present tense or the future tense and had to is the past tense for both so you know guys has and have all right they are for your present and has is what has is for your singular one and have is for your plural subject clear everybody so we see that in case of negatives and questions do does and did are used with had to and have to so these are the things that you all use that is do okay or does or did with had to and have to all right let's look at some of the examples what does it say i have to look for a new hostel by next week this is compulsion very compulsory you know you 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 saw uh, it in your should uh, sorry in your must as well therein also we were talking about the compulsion all right but have to with something that is talking about a compulsion that just cannot be ignored all right now his father has to start working this is working now this is advice and recommendation now they had to go to the principal for reporting mischief it's again a compulsion all right and when you have to make negative and interrogative sentences what usually happens you don't have to wear the jacket okay murli doesn't have to eat the whole cake when you are making negative or interrogative sentence so what exactly is happening in this sentence it is do it is plus not and then you have got have to all right and here what is it like it's does plus not plus have 
plus 2 and then infinitive form of the verb. So that means what is the infinitive form of the verb when we are using the verb in its actual original form. Alright, clear to everybody right there? Now, the next one. Akshay did not have to cook. So you remember this. I mean, you know this, right, guys, that with you, you use do, right? With like here, singular subject and that to masculine, you use does. All right, Akshay again is masculine, but you're talking in the context of past. That is why you guys are going to use did. All right, and did you have to work on holidays? Whenever you're making an interrogative sentence, what do you mean by an interrogative sentence? Ben, it's a question. Okay, so when it's a question, you will have the question word right in the beginning. Then you will have the subject and then have to. Okay, that is the very modal thing that we are talking about. All right, people, I hope that's clear to everybody right there. Now we are going to talk about would. Guys, please know that would is the past form. Okay, that is the past form. All right, past form of your will. So the uses, they would remain the same. But the thing is that you have to keep in your mind is that the context differs a bit. All right, but the uses would remain same. But just a little difference. Okay, so when you're talking about the wish and preference, I wish like for example, uh, if, uh, if I would be the Prime Minister of India, I would have done this. Okay, that's your wish. All right, and in case of your preference also, you use would. When you're talking about any past habit, when you want to like request somebody politely or in case of any imaginary condition, as I said, if I would be the Prime Minister of India, all right, uh, clear to everybody or uh, like in case of wish, you can also say that I would like to go to Kashmir next month. So that's your wish. That's your preference. Okay, now let's have a look at the examples. What does it say? Anisha would wake up and have a cup of hot coffee first. So this is her past habit that we are talking about here and guys this is so clear that what exactly are we going to talk about because see if, if it would have been a blank here no like it would have been Anisha dash wake up and have a cup of coffee first. So what do we know here and we are talking about the habit of a person. And whenever you're talking about the habit of somebody you go ahead with what you go ahead with what and that to a past habit. All right. Now, would you like to go to the mall with me? It's a polite request. For example, if I'm asking you, would you like to go to the mall with me? All right. And then I wish I would be the head boy of my school. Imaginary condition. All right. Like you are just wishing for it. That's your preference. I would be the head. For example, I wish I would be the prime minister of India. Or I wish I would be the secretary of so and so assembly. Right. Next. Bhumika would enroll in Oxford if she wins the scholarship. So that's her preference. Okay. Now what is the preference? Like if she is going to win the scholarship, her preference, what would she prefer? She would prefer to enroll in Oxford. That means that she would prefer to take part in Oxford University. She would prefer to enroll herself in the Oxford University. Is that clear to everybody? Right. So guys, uh, don't be confused that there are so many things and there are so many rules. It's just that it's a matter of time wherein you guys will just have to use it on a daily basis. And it will become so clear to all of you where to use what. Okay. Now the next thing guys. Use of should. Where do you use should guys? Okay. When you are cautioning somebody or when there is a purpose. All right, when there is an obligation. See, should on a broader way, I mean on a broader sense, it is basically used for your obligation, for your duty only. And when we are talking about any imaginary results, in that context also you use should. Okay, when you are talking about any duty, you go ahead with should. When you are talking about the possibility, there also you say should. In case of advice and in case of respect as well. So, should is used in all persons. That means with first person, all right, that is I, we. With your second person, that is you. With your third person, that is he, she, it. Keep this in your mind forever. All right, let's have a look at the example so that you guys understand what are the different uses of should. First one, you should greet your elders. That's your duty. That's your obligation. All right, that's your obligation. You are supposed to do that. Then Monisha should be at the airport by 3 p.m. That's the possibility. Now, guys, possibility was there in your mustache film. Okay, like there was the strong possibility. But for example, if I'm saying that she must be at the airport right now and she should be at the airport by 3 p.m., that's a possibility. That's not a strong possibility. Okay, like the words that are being used in explaining you the different models, you have to understand the context clearly. 
all right i hope that's clear to everybody right now one should not drink too much caffeine it's an advice right because too much caffeine is not good for health next we should not be late for the lecture that's your obligation that's your duty you should not be late for the lecture that's not really good that's not even nice that clear everybody to keep all these things in your mind try and practice all these things form sentences with should would and um, your can may well i mean with all the modal verbs and try and use them okay you can comment your uh, like answers by making one single sentence of every modal in the comment section below after the class i will check them okay or you can take help of your parents your siblings but please make some efforts on your own if you really want to prosper well with your modals okay also ren and martin is one of the books wherein you will find ample of questions related to the grammar topic kindly go ahead with that all right you can go ahead with the senior level if you think that your grammar is already good or go ahead with the junior level if you want to start from the base okay now the next thing see raj studied hard so that he should score first position so what's the purpose of studying here in the purpose of studying is to score first position all right so here should is not talking about the compulsion that he should score first per position instead there is a reason that's been given like he studied hard why did he study hard because he should score first position that's a purpose all right and then imaginary result manisha should get angry if she came to know that vanika spread rumors about her so now like imaginary result is what like if if is something that's giving you a condition like uh, like the person is going to be angry when is the person going to be angry when the person would come to know that another person vanika is spreading rumors okay uh, about her okay and uh, that means rumors in hindi means afwa right so if vanika is spreading rumors about her so that's the imaginary result okay that's where you can use should all right here it is not saying that uh, she should i mean that's her duty to be angry no okay that is going to be wrong instead it is one of the results of one of the situations okay next one dia should be grateful to aman who helped her with the notes on time so this is a polite request people dia should be grateful to aman who helped her with the notes on time so that means dia should be grateful so this is a polite respect that you are being grateful to somebody because uh, some kind of help was being given to you all right people i hope that's making sense to everybody right there right all right people moving ahead where do you use could okay so could is basically the past form okay it's the past form of can so you know when you have to make polite request no guys if you have to make a choice between would and could in terms of polite request and both the options are being given go ahead with could always could is more politer than would okay so it also deals with polite request and i told you in the previous slide related to would that would is also the polite request then ability or capacity in the past that's very important to understand your can also deals with what it deals with your ability or capability and here in could also deals with your ability or capacity but in the past now possibility under a particular circumstance this is very important to understand look at the example example 1 i could increase the sales by 20% if i become the manager so there is this possibility under a particular circumstance what does that mean that simply means what is the possibility the possibility is of increasing this is by 20% but what is the circumstance for that if the person become the manager all right so if you become the manager all right you will increase like uh, you could increase the sales by 20% so here in this is one of the situations that the person is talking about so this is what it means when it says possibility under a particular circumstance all right now the next thing could you get me a cup of tea so this is more politer always choose could over would all right i could read for us when i was a student so this is the capacity in the past it is talking about the ability of reading for more hours okay when the person was a student all right so guys please keep this in your mind can and could they are broadly used for the ability and capacity okay let's move ahead need to all right so this is compulsion in the negative and interrogative sentence and it also talks about the absence of necessity for example you need not have waited for me there in the market all right so there was uh, like absence of necessity like waiting in the market was not required okay let's see need roma practice more on her handwriting so there is compulsion in interrogative sentence 
like that means that Roma actually needs to practice more okay so this is talking about the compulsion the very compulsory thing okay the very required you know you go ahead with need to when the requirement all right is very strict okay the requirement is really serious then you go ahead with your need to all right now i need not have waited for you that means absence of necessity there was no need okay there was no requirement of waiting for anything or any person all right people please make sure that you all are understanding this well all right this is pretty important for your good understanding now we are moving ahead with ought to okay this is again important this is somehow linked with your should but we use ought to in more serious situations okay in more serious situations you go ahead with or to please keep this in your mind now we use it for advice you use it for obligation or duty so this is somehow same guys that this is used for your obligation it is used for your duty as well then when you are coming to a logical deduction that means that you are talking about a logical thing all right that you are coming to a logical reasoning there is a proper reasoning that you are talking about okay and then when you're talking about the probability i mean the chances is that making sense to everybody right there yes guys are you all getting me well yes okay now look at the examples you ought to fulfill the promise you made so now this is something serious that somebody is telling you maybe like for example i told this to you earlier that you should fulfill the promise you made so that was just a journal advice that i made but now like looking at all the scenario that i saw and i understood one given situation now i am saying you ought to fulfill the promise you made so i'm talking in a more serious tone so whenever the tone is a bit more serious therein you go ahead with ought to keep this in your mind now shambhavi ought to study at least one hour a day if she wants to clear the examination so now it's an advice but again it's a serious advice maybe earlier i told her that you should study at least one hour a day okay if you want to clear the exam but now she didn't take that seriously now i see that her uh, very performance in her examination is just getting worse okay this is just getting worse day by day so now i'm like you ought to study at least one hour a day okay so now my tone is becoming serious that means the situation is such a serious situation wherein if i will not speak like this now the person is not going to understand me okay now the next the country's economy ought to crash due to the pandemic this is a probability now guys see this is a probability i told you that may also talks about the probability might also talks about the probability and somewhere must also talks about the probability and there are other modal verbs as well but you know most uh, must is talks about the strong probability and that like must usually like broadly works for your necessity okay may talks about the possibility which is like 50 50 right and my talks about the very less possibility all right but as i told you all or it is more about the stronger possibility that it looked at a situation and then it is saying something so here in the country's economy ought to crash due to the pandemic so you know that during the pandemic everything was just getting worse right the economic situation of india or any other country it was not really doing well all right so looking at that situation we said that the country's economy ought to crash all right i hope that you all get that okay now poonam has sincerely practiced a lot for her match she ought to win it so now this is a logical reasoning i'm giving you how do i say that she ought to win it that's not her duty to win it that's not her obligation to win it but she has sincerely practiced a lot so by looking at the situation that she literally has worked so hard in order to win sorry in order to Mm, win this particular match that is why i'm telling you that she ought to win it all right that is where i'm coming to a logical reasoning is that clear everybody please keep all these things in your mind they are very important now we are coming to used to herein we talk about the past habits and existence of something in past so something that was there in the past or when you are going to talk about the habits that uh, that used to be in the past okay now i'm using used to here to show that we are talking about the past habits for example i used to have a cup all right just see here for example if i'm saying i used to have a cup of coffee after every meal so this is my past habit okay and please remember guys this is used to all right this is never used to that's wrong okay this is the right thing used to so i used to have a cup of tea after every meal that's the past habit 
Now the next one is there used to be a bakery on that street. That means existence of something in the past. There used to be. All right, a bakery. So there was something. For example, if I'm saying there used to be a a, a or no no no. All right. So another example. There used to be a building here. Okay. Or there used to be an old woman who used to sit here. Okay. Sorry. There used to be an old woman who used to ask me for these things on a daily basis. So you see, I've used used to here like in a double manner in any sentence. That's okay. This is giving me an indication that something used to be there. All right, guys. Okay. So now we have the questions, guys. I hope that you all understood the questions well. All right. And I mean, uh, you have understood the models well, and you have understood the examples well. I request you all to try to go. I mean, revisit the video once the session is over, so that you understand it better. All right. You guys need to practice a lot. Definitely, I'm going to come up with the Maha Menti for all of you for models the very next week. But please make sure you are going through every rule correctly and perfectly. All right. Let's have a question. I mean, let's have a look at the questions. Question one. You dash not hurry. So could need a rod. Next. We dash odd what should not to take a loan. Okay. We dash not to take a loan. Next. Dash, we finish the homework later. So, could use to or need to. I dash need to, sorry, I dash attend aerobics classes a couple of years ago. Next question, okay. We dash contribute in making our country a better place for everyone. So, guys, if you want, give me an answer quickly in the comment section. Alrighty. Otherwise, just let's move to the another slide wherein the answers are given. Need, ought, okay, could. All right, used to, should. So we are talking about need here because it is important. This is required. Odd has been given here. Why? Because it is serious. Okay, taking loan is not that easy. We are talking about a serious topic. And could we finish the homework later? So you want to be very polite here. You cannot say used to or need to, right? Then I used to attend aerobics classes a couple of years ago. So we are talking about something that was being done a couple of years ago. And we should contribute in making our country a better place for everyone. That's a duty towards our country, right? All right. Next set of questions. Ruhi dash not like to accompany me. Next. You dash not always do as your group says. Now next. I dash not stand Aruhi after has misbehavior in my party. Next, you dash leave right now if want to catch the plane. Next, Maya dash be nicer to the new students in the class. So the answer is would. All right, then should. Then could. Then need and or to. So you understand the context here well, everybody. Would has been given because that's a preference. Okay, and that's a preference I told you, right? Now, you should not always do as your group says. Okay, so this is one of the things like, like you should take into consideration. That's a duty kind of a thing somewhere. I could not stand Aruhi after her misbehavior in my party. That basically means that I have no ability anymore. Okay, I have no capacity that I'm going to look at her face. Okay, and you need to uh, leave right now if you want to catch the plane. So that means this is required. All right, this is the requirement and very important. And ought to is something like you Maya ought to be nicer to the new students in the class. So maybe she was very weird and very uh, like different, okay, earlier. But now she must be nicer. All right, people. So I hope that you all got the topic so well. It's pretty important topic. Keep this in your mind that you revise everything. Now I would like to share with all of you on Academy subscription features. Guys, term one is approaching, right? I'm sure that you guys uh, are going to be a bit nervous. But I would really suggest to all of you that be confident instead of being nervous, okay? So guys, what all do we have for all of you? We have got a lot of things for all of you, okay? You get to learn life from the comfort of your home. Unlimited access to all the courses. So I'm not only talking about your English. I'm talking about the other subjects as well. Now, top educators of India would be there on one single platform. Regular doubt clearing and answer writing sessions would be there. Exhaustive coverage of the entire syllabus. And when it comes to English people, I tell you all everything in detail. Now, mentorship and guidance would definitely be there. Study material in the form of PDF. Practice tests would be there, live test series and batch courses. So, you would have daily practice sessions, weekly mock test series, live quizzes, daily MCQs and subjective test series. We are going to provide you all a lot. All right, people, so discuss it with your parents. Just think widely. What is needed for your good so that you can prosper well in your life, okay? So herein, we have got different monthly plans. We have plans for 48 months, 36 months, 24 months, 18 months, 15 months, 12 months, 9 months, and 3 months. 
ओके सो पी एस एच टेन इज द कोड एवरीबडी ऑल राइट वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू टेन परसेंट ऑफ ओके दिस कोड इज गोइंग टू बी रियली हेल्पफुल बिकॉज दिस विल स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्डली गिव यू टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट एंड वुड गिव यू एन अश्योरेंस दैट आई बी देर टू सॉल्व एनी ऑफ इट आज ओके गाइज सो जस्ट थिंक वाइजली डिस्कस इट विद योर पेरेंट्स और विद होम सो एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस इट अबाउट एंड देन गो एट विद द बेस्ट All right, because that's needed in life, right? So, guys, we have got iconic subscription too. It's pretty unique. The reason being, one-on-one -on -one interaction would be there. Personal mentor would be there. Light dot solving sessions would be there. Weekly reports would be there. Parent connect thing, study planner. You need a planner to study, right? And all the benefits of an academy subscription would also be a part of your iconic subscription, guys. Okay, so don't let it go just like that. Okay, because the weightage of the benefits that we are providing is more than the weightage of the amount you'll be charged with. Okay, so discuss about this with your parents. Tell them that you need to have the best in your life, right? And guys, being an educator, being your well wisher, I would like to tell you all: try to go for a longer tenure. That's always beneficial, and that is always so very much needed in life as well. All right. So again, we have got different plans here: forty-eight months, thirty-six months, twenty-four months, eighteen months, fifteen months, twelve months, nine months, and three months. You guys can go it with anything that suits you the best, and then use the code PSH Tim because again, this code will make it easier for all of you to understand English the right way. And I can bet you all, I will make you so flawless in your communication that you will be shocked that you have finally attained that flawless communicating skills. Okay, now moving ahead. Now anyone can be a subscriber on An Academy Plus, okay? And how is that possible? Because we have got Pain Paths option for more than twelve months subscription. In the very payment method, go in Pain Paths option, check our EMIs, read our FAQs, and kindly note we have got zero cost EMIs, okay? And I'll ask you for a referral code. Put in the code PSH ten. Let's say fifteen thousand is the amount. You can pay in two paths, which is seventy five hundred each, or three paths, which is five thousand, okay? And then, guys, talk to an academy expert and use my code PSH10 because this code is the only code that can give you a confirmation that Preeksha Ma'am would be there for the entire tenure that you guys are going to take up, all right, to solve any of your doubts when it comes to English. Okay, an academy free special class features, guys, live real time interaction using chats and emojis, ask questions using the question tab, live poll options for quiz and poll leaderboard. Compete with your friends too. And guys, we have come up with amazing batches for all of you for class nine. We came up with crack term one exams for all subject. It was it was launched on the date fourth of October for your social science, math, science, English, and Hindi. And complete term one syllabus batch as well for all the subject which started on fourth October. Guys, enroll, okay? Enroll in the batches because the educators they are literally working so hard to make you also flawless in your subject. So that you guys can definitely score hundred percent this time in your term one. All right. So you will find your math, science, English, Hindi, and social science. Enroll. Use the code PSH10 and be right there. And guys, for class tenth, we came up with the batch which is complete term one English batch. Okay, it started on fourth October. English grammar would be taken by Romana, ma'am. I mean that's going on. And English literature by R M and Sir. So it is for class ten. Just enroll, guys. We have amazing offers for everybody right there. And then crack term one exams all subjects, guys. For fourth, I mean it again was launched on the date fourth October. For math, science, social science, English, and Hindi, just become a part of all this, guys, and life will be sorted. Okay. Now ten percent off is there on An Academy Plus and iconic subscription. P S H ten is the code. Download the app right away. Get it on Google Play or on the App Store. Try all of these features for free by using the code P S H ten. And let's crack it together, guys. Do not forget to like the session, share it with your friends, and subscribe. the channel so guys i'm sure you all love the session do not forget to hit the bell button and also the like button all right if you haven't subscribed the channel yet then kindly do it okay and kindly share the session let your friends know that we are having amazing sessions on this particular channel all right people i'll meet you all soon till then take care and let's crack it together bye bye everybody